Welcome back to Kawartha Lakes Matters. I'm Vanessa Murphy, and I'm with our very own mayor, Andy Letham. It is kind of a hot topic, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. Vaccines. Vaccines. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, we're we we see light. We hear about light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, we don't have any firm information uh, from a community perspective when we're going to have vaccines in our area. We don't right now. Um, you know, they're going to follow those health protocols as far as vaccinating our frontline workers, our high risk, our high risk residents first uh, as it rolls out. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine, as you know, has been approved. I believe the Moderna one is, has as well. Um, two doses, 21 days apart. Um, once it comes here, what the community needs to know is we have, as part of our emergency operations center, uh, all our resources uh, are standing by and ready to assist uh, the health unit and all our partners so that we will use every resource we can uh, that when they pull the trigger and tell us vaccines are on the way that we will be getting our vaccines out to uh, according to the health protocols to the, you know, emergency frontline workers and our most vulnerable residents, absolutely as quickly as possible. And we have our fire, police, paramedics, hospital, all standing by, you know, to work with, with our health unit and our different partners to make sure that gets done as quickly as possible. Because we, you know, we obviously, like everybody else, we see that as the, uh, as the trigger to start turning that corner that we've been waiting to turn for a long, long time. So, uh, but we don't have any firm dates as when we might start getting some of those yet. So, okay. okay so it's definitely not going to start in the next two weeks to a month. I would not it's think be a so, no. lot longer than that. So well, I, won't say, I won't say a lot longer, but uh, you know, it's when, when we get some updates, we'll certainly update you. Uh, we'll keep the community apprised just so they know. Um, but it looks like we're going to have an update sort of toward the end of January and whether we start getting some initial doses or the beginning of February, uh, I just don't have any firm date to pass on at this time. Okay. And we are obviously, we've got businesses shut down. We're back to pretty much, well, almost square one. Uh, what does the shutdown look like in the city of Kawartha Lakes in case people are wondering what kind of services we offer or why can't they do this or why can't they do that? Yeah, I mean, uh, we are in a shutdown. So, you know, I don't need to say it's a it's a serious situation. And, uh, you know, we can look at the numbers we have here as a community, and we can all make the argument, why are we shutting down? Because we're not really out of control, like some communities are. But when people are traveling from one community to another, the only way to stop that is to take away the incentive to travel. And that includes shutting down, you know, a lot of non essential businesses. So it looks a little differently than it did in the spring, whether that changes, uh, we'll see. Uh, from a municipal perspective, most of our city services are closed right now, uh, except our landfills, uh, our, our, everything else is closed to the public, but all our services are still being delivered virtually that can be so um, staff are working remotely when where possible, some of them are here in the office. Uh, phone and email is available, call center is open, transit, waste collection, road work is all being carried out, and all library branches are offering curbside pickup. So we don't have our arenas open or our service centers or, you know, any of our city buildings at this time for obvious reasons. Uh, they're not considered essential, but we are still delivering those essential services to our residents to make sure that their daily, you know, life can be as, as normal as possible in, in, in these times. So, uh, we're doing our absolute best to maintain those services to our residents and uh, we're just asking everybody to be patient and as soon as we can get back again, we had this conversation in April and May last year, as soon as we can get back to normal, we will, we will do what we can do to, uh, to get some things back opened up, but when we can do it safely.